tonight on Urban Beats. We have a whole lot of entertainment news for you. We also bring you more about the history of alternative pop. And we'll be closing off the show with an exclusive debut from Arrow and Olive with their latest single, Black and White. And you know tonight's show is hosted by none other than your favorite and mine. It's All By Gang. Good evening, South Africa. This is Urban Beats, and you are here with none other than your favorite boy, OB. We got a whole lot in store for you today. We have some games, we have some edutainment, and we've got some gossip for you. And you know, of course, we have some lit music. But before we get to that, let me take you guys to an ad break so that you guys can settle down, get used to the vibe, you know what I mean? So yes, let's do it. Welcome back guys, that was the ad break. So now we're gonna be going into the international and local news, the gossip, you know, what these celebrities are really doing behind closed doors, cause we want to know, right? So yeah, let's get right, let's go straight to it. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez have broken up. Beyonce and Jay-Z go on tour together. Taylor Swift has dropped a new single called Delicate. Cardi B wins yet another award, and this time it's the iHeartRadio Award. And during her speech, she announced that she will be dropping her long-awaited album in April. R&B legend and confessions hit maker Usher Raymond has announced his divorce. He has been married to this lady for two years. She also managed him for a number of 10 years. We're all aware of all the rumors and accusations that have been going around surrounding the R&B singer. So all we can do is wonder what the real reason behind the divorce is. AKA has confirmed that his forthcoming album will be his last. Hmm. The essay rapper seems to be in a whole lot of new business ventures and music is no longer part of the plan. And lastly, our beloved songbird Zonke Dikana is back in studio cooking up a brand new album. And judging by her latest posts, Questa will be featured on that album. I hope y'all are up to date on the biz and what is happening now. You know what's happening, right? Y'all know the tea. So now, let me take you to the ad break. And then remember, you can interact with us on by Urban Beats on Facebook and on Twitter. So yeah, enjoy the ad break. So now we're going to be learning about alternative pop and where it began till its point now. And yeah, I hope you guys get to the point where you guys know about alternative pop and probably you might like alternative pop and you might be an alternative pop junkie. So now let me take you guys to the segment of alternative pop. I hope you guys enjoy the history and the knowledge about alternative pop. All right, let's talk pop culture. And I believe we all know what pop culture is about, what it entails. But do you know its origins? Do you know where it originated from? Well, let me school you a bit. originated from the British post-punk in the 1980s and got popular in the 90s. The term alternative was created to describe punk rock to encourage bands on the independent record labels that you know what, you didn't have to fit into the mainstream genre, which was rock at the time. In the 
90s alternative pop started booming it got more exposure it was everywhere it was on your tvs it was on your radio stations it was everywhere man you couldn't turn around without alternative pop being there and then it started getting recognition from awards like grammys mtv awards billboard awards and before you knew it there were festivals they were part of fashion shows Pop was here. Alternative pop had made its mark. And all of that played a huge part in exposing and making pop culture what it is today. If you're only watching our show now, unfortunately it is too late for you, but then you can always check out our show on YouTube, which is Urban Beats, but then I'm going to leave you guys with a song, which is by Arrow and Olive, Black and White. Enjoy, peace! Fight for us Ooh, take it